Bill, can you uh, can you say now what it is that the Russians and the Chinese have that Snowden purloined from the NSA? Well, uh, the the worst case assessment from U.S. intelligence is that the Chinese uh, were able to gain access and the Russians as well to everything that he had on four laptop computers uh, that were part of his escape from uh, Hawaii when he left uh, uh, in the beginning of, of May and. Uh, it's again. It's a worst case assessment. Uh, they clearly believe that uh, because Chinese intelligence is so active in Hong Kong, and they're so expert, especially at gaining access to computer systems and cell phones, that they almost certainly got whatever he had on those hard drives. And uh, it's believed that he is at least, you know, thousands of documents that uh, have not yet been published. Uh, the same is true probably for the Russians. He's been in a transit hotel. That means the Russian intelligence. Uh, had access to all of his equipment and luggage, so everything there is being uh, copied electronically. Plus, they're probably questioning him about what he knows about NSA and intelligence programs targeted on Russia. What is I, – I know that your sources are intelligence sources generally, but – and they're acting on behalf of the president. So can I f- uh, frame the question this way? What is Barack Obama doing about this? Well, not very much. He, you know, he gave a speech yesterday, which said that the climate change was the biggest uh, problem. And last week at, in Berlin, he also said that climate change was the threat of our time. Uh, he's trying to pursue. Uh, he and his administration are trying to pursue this postmodern approach to world affairs, which, in my view, is very naive. In other words, they're trying to wish away. Uh, real threats to national security, uh, whether it's al-Qaeda, whether it's China, whether it's a, a, a revanchist Russia. And so he's trying to basically uh, pursue his own agenda, which is cutting nuclear weapons, cutting the military, and taking that money and using it for his uh, domestic uh, uh, political agenda. Well, in the Clinton administration, they called that the peace dividend, and it was sort of a fantasy land then, and it is now. But let, let, let's focus on these nuclear plans. You say that there is a chance Snowden got the latest iteration of U.S. nuclear strategy. Is that just like a worst-case scenario, or, or do they think it's likely he did? Um, it's not clear. Uh, I talked to one official who said that uh, there's a very real possibility, and the evidence for that was mentioned by Snowden when he did an online chat sponsored by The Guardian where he mentioned that he had not disclosed uh, military operations and secrets, uh, but the implication was that he had access to it. And, uh, and there's no question that he was very successful in gaining access to very extremely sensitive intelligence that he normally, as a systems administrator, would not have access to. So this may be a case like Bradley Manning, where he was able to hack in because he had classified access, was able to hack into uh, uh, classified systems that normally would be off limits to someone in his position. Bill, th- there is also the implication in in this reporting that that would be a very damaging thing because President Obama has changed America's nuclear strategy. Any idea right. what he has changed it from yeah, it, to? It, 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 it hasn't gotten a lot of attention, but the president issued guidance uh, last week to the Pentagon, and the Pentagon made public uh, its guidance. And the whole point of it is that we live in a new environment. Uh, the nuclear threats are he's, – he's trying to wish away the nuclear threats posed by Russia and China by claiming that the, the new threats are from Iran and North Korea and perhaps a future – a terrorist group like al-Qaeda gaining access to a nuclear weapon. Uh, Based on that threat environment, he's saying we don't need as many nuclear weapons as we have. And even the Russians don't agree with that. Uh, In response to his uh, his, uh, speech in Berlin, the Russians are saying, look, the Chinese are building up their nuclear forces. They won't tell anybody about that, so we can't cut our our nuclear forces any further. But he set up the the policy so that they can begin making further cuts. And uh, it's very, it's potentially very strategically destabilizing because it could trigger our allies to, to seek their own nuclear arsenals and and uh, and a, and a buildup by uh, Russia and China, which is already underway. There, let me double back here. Uh, the implication in the uh, words of Vladimir Putin is, 
Uh, poor old Snowden is trying to decide where to go, and we're we're allowing him to stay in the transit lounge. And sooner sooner he decides where to go, the better for him and us. And you sort of are left with the impression that Snowden's in you know some room with a pizza and his laptops. It would be incompetent of the Russian security services and the Chinese security services to not be in the room with him shaking down his computers, wouldn't it? Absolutely. There's no question. <clears throat> they, they even have indications, uh, intelligence indications, that the Chinese were clearly able to do that. As far as what's happening in Russia, it's it's a little less clear. But there's no question. I mean, this is a, you know, Putin was a KGB colonel. This is a KGB-led administration in Russia that thinks in intelligence terms. They don't think uh, in, uh, you know, let's all be friends, let's have a new era of cooperation. They're thinking how can they steal secrets from the Americans that can be used uh, for their own national security. Bill Gertz is the uh, national security correspondent for the Washington Free Beacon. Uh, Bill, I know you've been real busy, just got off TV, took time to talk to us. We really appreciate it. 